Hi guys, we are in the middle of March and you can see the weather is beautiful and everything on the allotment they start blooming slowly slowly. This is my famous apricot tree. It's a flavor cut type tree and as you can see it's blooming beautifully. It's only end, uh, nearly the end of March but it's blooming lovely. We're gonna have lots of nice tasty organic apricots. We have three types of potatoes put in the ground already and these are the marks where they go all the way down. Now these two beds are early potatoes. This lot here, this lane is Cypress potatoes. These two here are Desiree, a red type potato. It's one of the best ones around. We have to pick some nice ones and put them in. This size, like two inches and one inch, two by one, you can say, is the best seedlings you can put in the ground. You don't want it very, very small. You don't want it very, very big. This is perfect size. You see, they're all cheated, you see? It's cheated, it's got roots coming up. It's cheated, you see? That should do for now. We'll go, we're gonna go and put these potatoes in the ground now. Let's go. inches deep. Uh, later on I'll put compost on them. More compost. You can see job done now we're gonna mark it to know where they are where we put them so the next lot will be 50 centimeter away from the road so nearly 50 centimeters as you can see between each row Uh, because or organically they're very very nice Really, really 
whole packet. Just to put a little bit. About 50 or so. Seeds are very, very small. So here we go. We sprinkle them like that all over the place. seeds in, in the compost and uh, it'll take a, a few weeks for them to start uh, coming up slowly slowly and then when they're about uh, 10 inches 12 inches large to big I will split them and I'll rip I will put them in the ground I'll dig a big hole in the ground for, for about uh, as big as 50p and I'll slot them in cutting the top the top of it off a bit put them into the hole loosely they have to be in the hole loosely so they can they can grow bigger like that this way so that helps them grow faster in diameter wise and uh, keep mulching them water and they need a lot of water these leeks and keep an eye on the on the pests they got lots of insects after these leeks they grow in and they leave uh, larvae and stuff like that so you have to keep an eye on them so I did them in March because in April uh, they won't be in the ground. So I missed the larvae season. This, the leek larvae season is uh, in April and in October. So by the time I plant them in, into the ground, I have to take them out of the ground by September. Whatever happens, if you leave them till October, the pest will go and leave their larvae in there and they will destroy your crop. This is how it goes on the leaks. Be careful with the leaks. And in the next episode, hopefully I can show you how they've developed these leaks. So please subscribe. I've got lots of nice videos coming on planting things. Leaks are in there. Okay guys, we got the leaks here. We put them in the greenhouse because obviously it's warmer and they will shoot faster. And once they are about 10 to 12 inch, we put them in the ground and we will make, watch our next video. We put the leaves in the ground and we'll show you how to plant them properly, professionally. Right guys, this is the lemon tree. It's the end of the season and the leaves are dropping. Nothing to worry about because these new leaves will take over straight away. Give it a month or two and we get all brand new leaves on this tree. Here we go, this is cauliflower and they're coming up. Slowly, slowly they're coming up. I got uh, sweet pea. Sweet pea, they're coming up, there they are. Poor rabbit is coming up, there it is. Okay guys, as I said before, this is middle of March now, there's not a lot to do. There's half the allotment is empty, half is planted. We are middle of everything really. So in the next video, hopefully we can show you a bit more on the potatoes, a bit more on the strawberries. I'm planting more strawberries and planting more seedlings in the greenhouse. Please don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe. So you can see a lot of videos and a lot of nice stuff I'll be planting this year. Trust me, you're gonna love it. See you.